Hey guys, this is your friend and pal of Fierce Summer Ducky. And the swashbuckling swashbuckler. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are doing <clears throat> the clockworks. Uh, this is a dungeon that some people have trouble with, so we hope this will help you all out a little. Screen's still loading. <laughs> I've never done this before, so this should be interesting. Sold everything else so far. Pretty easy. Alright. Ready? Yep. Here we go. This is, I think, the final dungeon. Ah, I see we've drawn the whole fortress out on us. Well yeah. done. Alright. Fighting goons. I knew this day would come. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so do you have a fog up? Um, yes, I do. Alright, use it and use your max scratch buff. Okay, sure thing. Um, what about Sky Spirit? Uh, yeah, you, well, no, you, you don't use that yet. Use that when we're about to, like, the turn before we attack. Use okay, fan critical buff. Calling. Actually, no, use fan Sky Spirit. Nice. Okay, hopefully the pets don't attack. Really, the Raven's Call will be super OP, you think about it. Huh? The Raven's Call will be super OP? Yeah. I think we may, uh, I think we might need to take our pets off if they spawn, because the mobs will, um, focus them instead of the flames. I don't know. I'll see how this goes. So my pets have been messing up a lot like that. Well, we will attack. They completely ignore the flames and just go for the pet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hopefully both pests would miss. That'd be really good. Pest probably a sandstorm though. Get okay, miss, please. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. I'll just place blood flames there. Uh, this is the part. This is this is the part that's easy. The crabs are easy. Yeah, okay, I didn't get blood troops. flames, but I got the summer champ weapon. It should be just as good. Um, use your next scratch buff. Shitting. And uh, use the sky spirit buff now. Shitting. Doing that right now. Also, swashbucklers are going to have a bit of a time trying to fog. Think about it for a bit. Did you saw the video Feisty Orange posted? Hmm. Yeah, that should work good. GG. Wow. And people say wow. this is hard. Come on. No, it's not. When Harry is just OP. No, I'm just kidding. Skier's insane. I've really just been doing this the whole time. Never lost yeah. one battle yet. I was debating of using the charming gaze mask, but I think it would just waste time. I didn't. I didn't have fog the one time that the armada beat me my, back there, but that was the only one I've lost. It's fine if you don't. We can still win because they're ranged. So I'm assuming they are. Are they? Um. Yeah, they're ranged. They're all ranged. The yeah. armada ones. All right. Now just attack normal with super hits. I think. So you want to explain this strategy to them so they know how to do this? Mm, it's kind of your strategy, so I'll let you do that. Okay. Or so basically, you want to get the Summer Champion Whipman. If you don't have it, it's fine. Blood Flames work just as well. But um, if you're a buckler, you can just hide. And yeah, it's really just for a buckler. But um, you're, you're a buckler, you use Fog. You make sure you have nobody attacking. 
You only place flames because they'll only target the flames. And you have the max scratch buff up, right? Buff up. And then it literally just one shots everything because they only see the um, they only see the flames on the battle board unless you have a pet. But if your pet attacks, just place it in front of the pet because they're going to be going for the pet. This way. We can take an alley the yeah, but there's a problem the if it's uh, against witch doctors or yeah, musketeers. Yeah, and musketeers. The AOE. So, so that's where um, the summer flames comes into. You um, run up, place summer flames. They can AOE it, but it's not going to kill the summer flame weapon. And they have to actually walk through it, and they end up walking through it. So there's really no counter to that for the mobs. Yeah, I wish I had that weapon. All right, listen to Scratch Dial. Hmm. All right, same strategy. Sure thing. Why don't you use Contagia? Who? Contagia. Um, I was using it earlier, but this is just more effective. Okay. Uh, don't wait, wait, hold on. I got fog. Hmm. Move your scratch to me. And use the max buff next. Right there. Okay. And just fog. If not, just move next to me. Alright, nice. So, you're, you're, you're going to fog. So I had to speak a little quietly right now. These people are sleeping. Alright, hopefully the pet misses, if not just fine. Yeah, I kinda have to whisper Ooh. and boost the audio a lot. <laughs> oh, am I being too loud for the audio? No, no, I, I, I have to. From a microphone, because okay. people are sleeping for you. So, that's how I get past it. Alright, use your max scratch buff. Sure thing. Yeah. It charmed one of the guys, so I'm not sure if it's good or bad. Mm, that's good. A no attack? Uh, yeah, don't attack yet. Sure. <clears throat> Trying to think how I should place this flame. Let's do this so these guys just get killed. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. That should kill those two. And then I'll use Summer Flames next for the remaining ones. And I'll one shot them each. Yeah, I actually have Blood's Coat. In, in Move Manchu's Coat. And as soon as that guy's done being charmed, if he stays still in attacks, he's gonna get the flame damage as well. Unless one of them takes out the flame. Yeah. We should do a level 70 arena. Maybe. Sometime. Uh, you probably saw Luga, the arena level 70. First to do it. The first to do what? To solo arena on level 70. Hmm. It's probably just going to be easier, actually. Yeah, probably. Charming Gaze. Pretty good power. You, you might be able to do it on private tier. 
Yeah, yeah, really. Especially versus the Witch Doctor. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a breeze for Frontier with the new power. That's for sure. Frontier's so broken now. Well, actually, I can't say that because I don't know the percentage of the new power. That new power, it's insane. Like honestly, rip team PVP. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Yeah, no more no more old musket right, lines. Just pass one more turn. Like completely gone. Yeah, Musketeer got really I feel bad for Musketeer. Alright, pass, they're all dead. Watch. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I'll pass. Like this is insane. <laughs> Five K flames. I'll take yeah, it. That's good enough. Actually, I think there's a cap, like a damage cap. I think there's a reason that's why insane. they aren't doing that much. Yeah. All right. I'll just assassin this guy. Pass again. Sure thing. Wait. I may have just wait. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Just pass. They just let him run into the flame. There's no need to even attack. <laughs> Pretty nice. Bank and backpack are full. Not getting any gear. Don't really care. Don't need it to win. Well, it's always nice to have a look at the new stuff. So. Yeah. That's what Jeremy is for. He knows all the goods. Really? You yeah. mean um, the feisty orange? Yeah. Oh, nice. Alright, so this is the part you were having trouble on? Let's get across, quickly. Pardon what? Was this the area you were having trouble on? Um, it comes, I think it's the next one or the one after this. Already. You fight some crabs after you talk to the guy, and then you fight the armada. Um, it's the armada troops. Okay, now, this is actually a little bit confusing. I'll follow you. Because the quest guide... It's a low-key Z quest. Watch out. <clears throat> yeah, the quest guide points you in the wrong direction. You continue going this way. The quest the quest guide points you in the wrong direction. Yeah, that was happening to me earlier when I was trying to get into the storm gate, too. It's this um, way. The ones again. It was pouring, uh, sh showing me to the um, Squilin one. Yeah, it's this way. So... Who's this guy? John Luke Picard? <laughs> he actually <laughs> does look like it. <laughs> Can it be? Yes. At last, my messages have been answered. I had begun to worry that Cagliostro had made the code too difficult. But here you are. Now you want to know how to defeat Cain. I have a plan. To understand it, you must learn how Cain came to be and how he went astray. My greatest creation and my greatest folly. How many have suffered for my pride? Sometimes it is too much to bear. The story begins long ago, when I was in my prime, when the spiral knew me. I have always loved machines. I was younger than you when my father taught me my trade. He made clocks, you see, but I made wonders. When he learned all he could from me, Cain returned to Valencia. But instead of ruining the Tortellinis, he joined them. Cain designed new machines, twisted reflections of himself. Two of them, Deacon and Rook, came for me at the head of a mechanical army. They brought me here, to the very factory I built. In chains, I have been a prisoner ever since. Now Cain has as much power as the king, and his elites distract the nobility, oppress the commoners, and fight distant wars. Where will it end? Take heart. The two clockworks who captured you are no more. This pirate laid them low. We are all pledged to stop Cain or die trying. Don't let past mistakes gene your soul. The captain taught I and I that it is never too late to change your path. All it takes is a good deed. 
Aye, and it's time for you to do yours. You say you know how to beat Cain? Tell us. I cannot tell you here. It is far too dangerous. Let's be off, then. Pack your things, old man. You're coming with us. I have all that I require. But one thing. We must get it on the way out. It's Napoleon's hat all over again. We don't have time for that. We've wasted too much time talking as it is. Kane's on his way. Oh, I doubt Kane will ever know you were here. Don Tortellini will never tell Kane how badly his security has failed. Would you? Good point. Uh, we better get moving, or they'll trap us in here. All right. Uh, is there right. either this fight or next Oh, you fight? know the secret passage? Let's go. Um, no, I don't. What's that? They're on to us. This oh. Ends now. <laughs> Nobody crosses the tortellinis. Now, ah, here's that pompadour crab we've heard so much about. He doesn't look so tough to battle. It's the one after this fight. It's Enzo, the PvP master. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beat up this crap. I don't think it'll give us grip. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Same strategy. Do you have fog up? Sure do. All right. Perfect. Max scratch buff. Okay. Do a companion guide on Contasia. So many people try and set her with epics. The the correct way to set her is with um, Sky Spirit, Raven's Call, and Assassin Strike, and no epics. I give her a real one. For the extra burst versus like after she uses her assassin. Uh, not worth it. Ravens, well, I mean, Ravens the, the Cosper just better. gives her first strike and repost and extra movement. You reverse just like a musketeer or something, or a quest doctor, or even yeah. I feel like that's better. That's if you're a buckler though. What, but what if you're not you a buckler, you should probably go with that. Place Sky Spirit. Okay, I'm placing Blood Flame. Well, there's a musketeer. So see how there's a musketeer, guys. Whenever you see like a musketeer like that, uh, always use Summer Flames first. And the pet. Okay, so if your pet's joined like that. You want to move one companion to block it in, so none of them can attack the pet. So they'll be forced to go for the flames. So as you can see, I marked where, my, where I'm going to move my scratch, so they'll have no way of attacking the pets, even though the pets are not in hide. They'll ignore the pets unless they're at range. So all the melees will just walk into the flames. So yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty smart. Yeah, I figured it out. I'm really good at um, telling how the mobs work and stuff. So I used to find all those cheese. Uh, that moment when you mess up. Okay, well, only one of them is going to... The Musketeer and one melee is probably going to hit the pet. I moved my pirate, but the rest should just go walk into the flames. The main boss, two-shot. That's when you know this is broken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have blood flames up as well. Yeah, it's easy. Like you can pretty much solo anything in the game with this. Even Moon Manchu. Yeah, this is probably the best way to solo Moon Manchu. If you ever wonder. I have soloed him before I should get a recording. But it wasn't with that. Huh? It wasn't It wasn't with that. It was with a regular... I think it was actually with the um, Nefarious Blades. I know. I, that was when I didn't have very much equipment. Okay. Um... Okay, they're gonna attack. Dang, this is a bad position. For, um, dang it, the pets. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna place blood flames right here. Well, yeah, cause I well, <laughs> dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna place. Well, yeah, let's just do that. Um, just so I sky spirit buff and pass. Sure 
You can summon a minion right there from Scratch if you like. Actually, no, I'll do that because my Scratch. Here, use your Scratch buff. Sure thing. Okay. This is going to be tricky for the Blood Flames because the pets are kind of rooting the targeting, but if I'm right, they'll stay still and just attack the pet normally. So they'll still get Blood Flame damage. Yeah, hopefully they should not move because they're probably just gonna attack the pet melee normal hit. Could be wrong though. Yep, I was wrong. But yeah, pets and um wish doctors with AoEs and musketeers with AoEs are really just the only counters to this strategy. So far anyway, I haven't really encountered anything else. Don't know if it makes sense. And you said the summer flames can't be destroyed. They can't. By um, AoEs or musketeer attacks. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much musketeer bombs. They, they can't be destroyed unless they're used. Unless musketeer bombs are used? No, no. Like, okay, you know how musketeer bombs, like, they set them, and, like, you can't, like, like normal attack them just to kill them? It works like that. Let's say what again? Okay, so when musketeers place their traps and stuff, you can't like bomb them to get rid of them and stuff. You literally have to use them up by walking on them. That's uh, how the summer flames work. Dang, I wish I had them. Way better than blood flames. Mm, I'd say blood flames are better. Oh, because you can put them apart from yourself? Uh, for why? PvP anyway. Both, they're pretty equal in PvE, but PvP blood flames. Yeah, but you can't use blood flames in Pv PvP anymore. Yeah, I know. Kind of annoyed because Royale, but whatever. Wish they'd fix that. Like the only good thing from that is um, here just pass. The only okay. good thing from that is the fact that they removed charm and gaze and charm. But other than that, I don't really know. It just gives people free rank by cheating, and got a lot of good powers banned. But oh well. Hmm. Yeah. It's always that one minion that lives with like no life. And this minion's name is Edward. Oh wait, no, never mind. It says your it says your character owns him because he got charmed. Edward Tex, crab minion. All right, you can assassinate him. Uh, wait, actually, just pass. And there we go. So this is the hard battle. Nope. This is not. The next one, I mean, for the Armada. This is the one where I was losing. And yeah. Already. I was losing so well. The narrow alley will get us back to the front plaza. Move out! Yeah, I got, um, bank space. So. Arr, keep your head down or you'll end up part of the scenery. The gate is this way. Come on. Missing dialogue. Yeah. You have it too? Yeah, it's not saying anything. It's saying, um. Yeah, I It's pretty much sub it subdue the intruders. Get them. Yeah. <laughs> reported it is a bug. There's a lot of bugs. Like the, um. New, uh, Swap Rifle Companion that has Assassin Strike. Or Super Strike. It's not working for some reason. Um, it's not. Probably because it's supposed to be an epic strike. At least I'm assuming, because that's what all the starter companions have. Okay, I did not get fog, did you? Um, no. Okay. Burn what are the odds in the one battle, though? It's hard. Okay, um... Okay, discard everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just fort yourself right now. Um, and s yeah, d just fort yourself. Okay, uh, I'm doing a critical buff because I don't have a fort. Uh, uh, I have all my assassin strikes and two heals. It's up to you. I'm gonna fort. Good idea. So I have no idea how much damage they do. Mm, it's more that they chain. Yeah, then we should probably just fort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Fort next turn, unless you get fog. If we get fog, we're pretty, pretty much one. This, this, I just realized the strategy could probably work with the private here as well. They use the otter slow. And just place blood flames. Again. Yep. Definitely would work. It probably would work better with private here, to be honest. Because they wouldn't have to worry about their pet. Yeah, my just blood slow. flames are on my musketeer right now. What about because, musketeer? Uh, they're on my musketeer right now. Who is? What uh, blood flames. I was I was thinking about going hybrid melee musketeer for a walk there. Yeah, I feel I I feel pretty bad for musketeer. Like the powers are okay, but I don't know. Oh, in my opinion, it just lets me uh, charge my Zika in stealth, get her past all the Overwatch, and then they'll trigger her Gert through uh, quick draw three. Pretty much a free win. Like Zane will not be able to beat this. Yeah. By the way, the secret trainers have some new stuff. This is why I said in update notes. We could probably check that out after. Say what? The uh, um, secret trainers that gave us reland and stuff. Apparently, they have new traits and stuff. Haven't checked it out yet. We no, could probably yeah, check we it out after. Check that out. Yeah. Have so you? That's a good idea. No, I haven't. Oh okay. yeah. Be sure to. Okay, do I got fog. Um, just max scratch buff. True sure thing. The one pet. <laughs> I want to cry. That's okay though because um, I'll just because we're doing flames next and the pet's probably gonna die this turn. Sure thing. Nice. But the but the Raven's call will be OP in in uh, PVP. Mm. I think I think the. Uh, it's only an extra first strike when we post. I'm not sure. I do think the agility pop is worth it, though. Yeah, I definitely agree. Same with the assassin. In, in 4v4. Oh, yeah. That would be incredible. Mm. I'm hoping she gets an upgrade. Well, she will. All the main companions do. It's probably not going to be for a while, though. Yeah. The next companions get an update, I think, are um, Tavern Monkey and King. Hawkeyes. Uh, not Monkey King? Oh yeah, Monkey King as well. Probably Super Die as well, too. Alright, um... There's Musketeers here, so I'm just gonna place this so they're forced to walk into it. Just pass. Okay, pass. Yeah. Keep forgetting. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, I wish I'd been around for summer season. I think I was one of the. Mm -hmm. I think I was like literally, like the, one of the first three people to get champion for summer season. <laughs> Not even kidding. And without moon coat. Uh no, I wasn't using. I was literally, I was the only person in the season that did not use moon robe because I hated it so much. Mm -hmm. I right. don't have it. Do you? Pass again. You, do you have it? Or uh no, I don't. Uh -huh. I got it. Way 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 way. After this is so broken. I got it after they nerfed it. Uh, like way after. Okay, it was literally so broken though. It was. More broken than this. Alright, that was pretty easy. Any more battles or have you not got there yet? Um, this is as far as I got them before. Alright, just pass now. Um, heal yourself to full, I guess. Um, no heal. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Yeah, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, my friends! My old residence is there! I must recover something from it. Let me fix my backpack real quick, quick All right. in case there's a boss. Oh, cool. Oh, I just have everything deleted because I'm too lazy to clean my backpack. Yeah, I delete everything that I can. Yeah. Uh, let me delete some stuff as well, I guess. Yeah, you know, just in case there's a boss up ahead. I really like the artwork for the new gear. I haven't seen it. I have not seen it's, it. It's, it look school, like? it's school island stuff. Yeah. It's sarcastic. It was kind of a joke. I like my current look. I feel like a smuggler. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good look. Only cost me more than 5,000 scripts. And my brother is crazy about 
the other out at the one with the hood. Yo, I can't wait to get the gorilla out. <laughs> yeah, I'll be getting the. I'm get champion in a week just to get it when the update comes out. Probably two days actually. Do you never mind? Well, yeah, actually maybe because since the new update, people are probably gonna be doing PvP more, which will be nice. You can actually get matches in the higher ranks. All right, ready to go. Yeah. All right. I might be using my party too for PvP. Oh yeah, party is gonna be insane. It's still here. What is that thing, old man? I told you, I have a plan to defeat Cain. It is a time you learned what it is. My plan is built around this wondrous machine. A device I found in El Dorado. Oh. More missing dialogue. Should I report it? Or no? Yeah, why not? There we go. Of course, I went with Marco Pollo's crew before the captain was born. No way you went to El Dorado. You're not in the photo. Ah, look at that. I had never thought to see this again. Amazing. I am not in this picture because I was holding the camera. I took Ooh. this picture. Catbeard here was my shipmate. He never told you the tale of El Dorado? No, I most certainly did not. We are never to speak of that place, remember? We swore an oath to Marco Pollo. Enough secrets. If I had not kept what we found a secret, how much might be different now? No, I must tell the tale. So you came. There is a reason he is so different. Mine was not the only genius that had a hand in his creation. All began in El Dorado. Young and wide-eyed, I signed aboard the Santo Oro as a carpenter's mate and joined Marco Pollo on a great expedition. We had no idea what lay ahead. The passage nearly destroyed us, but there it was, El Dorado. I will never forget that city. So haunting, so strange, so empty. I never set foot in that blinding city of mystery. The others explored, and when they returned with all that gold, I joined the celebration. That was when the horror began. El Dorado was a dead city, but far from empty. Terrible mechanical sentinels remained, great giants made of solid gold. The things caught us by surprise and decimated the crew in an instant. Only a handful of us escaped. We cast off from the Golden Dock, but one of them managed to board the ship. We destroyed the terrible machine and barely escaped with our lives. While the others argued over their share of the gold, I claimed the broken pieces of the Guardian as my share. That machine... What a wonder it was. In the months I spent disassembling it, I learned three lifetimes worth of mechanics and craftsmanship. All my later success sprang from it. But there were two mechanisms I could not disassemble, whose function eludes me to this day. I kept them hidden, my greatest treasures. I pulled them from the head and chest of the golden giant, and named them his mind and heart. Try as I might, I never learned how they worked. After decades of studying them, I finally put one of the mechanisms to use in my exile. I needed a genius, so the golden mind sits behind Cain's mask. El Dorado still haunts my dreams, and I know in my soul that some shadow of that accursed place drives my greatest creation to evil. Pirate! You must help me set things right. Take me to Cain's sanctum in the heart 
of his great machine. I will install the golden heart into Cain. He will turn his will to good instead of evil. Wow. My greatest folly will be undone. That's your plan? Fight Cain in the heart of his machine and fix him? You know, Cain might be keeping his pieces of the map there. I'd say that's reason enough to pop in on its own. It's wow, someone joined. Here, yes? We will run from destiny mm -hmm. no longer. Yeah. The final battle begin. Well, my friends. This... Yes, let it begin. Go already. We can't talk all day. Out. Cool, Arthur. You got a lot of nerve coming in here like this. You think you're gonna steal from the old man? That's where you're wrong. This ends now. All right, I told them you're trying to record. Are you still listening to the dialogue? Alright. Alright, then basically there's just crabs. We're like, we're gonna get you. And then Hockey's like, easy. yes. Easy peasy. Um, someone poured it, so the, I don't know. They're oh. probably gonna mess us up, which is. Oh, they're gone. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. I don't have fog up. But, um, I do. I do. Huh? I do. You I have fog up? Have, yeah, I have fog up. Should I use the max buff? Uh. No, uh, no, use the second best one. KK. Actually, never mind, don't use, don't, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna be bad. Um. I'm just gonna place Blood Flames, because I don't. Just, I don't have fog up, just fight the melee, I guess. Something in Mark of the Cool to take the focus off us. Okay. Uh, buff or no buff? Uh, move scratch next to me. Just did. Hopefully it moved a second ago. Yeah, so. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna survive this. Eh, crowds are easy. Uh, if he survives, I'll just have him heal himself to full because he has this scratch buff. Good idea. He's he's not going to. Yeah, that's why I use him. I use him in the goat because he can just heal himself to full whenever I need. That makes sense. Oh and they have pretty decent damage and the accuracy buff, so. That makes sense. I should have bought him. Uh, use your scratch buff, by the way. Max sure one. Thing. I'm not gonna get it, but just use it so I can heal my guys. And just like full out, just like attack these guys now. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, please don't get Blade Storm on Watang. Great. Oh, <laughs> he, hit, he could hit the pet there. Okay, nice. And yeah, that works. Come on, pet. <laughs> Dang. One fierce nice. target just killed two crabs. Nice. Yeah, that was a good placing of the flames. Oh, 
Um, I'm not next to you. How many um, reduces he has on him? Three. Uh, Lutein, I'm next to Lutein. Here we go. Nice. Um, I had her do over 5,000 damage in one solo hit. And just, she used to be using a Mega Assassin. Yeah. And that's without the bleed through. So. Wait until you see this heal. You're gonna be like, what? Seen the same thing with um, insane Yagi. flame damage and insane healing. The strategy is just so good. Yep, Yagi. <laughs> just Yagi watch this. <laughs> he literally has like 100 life. Now, watch this. <laughs> yep, I've seen it before. Group heals do more than that, actually. Sometimes. Yeah, I know. That was a low roll, too. Imagine <laughs> yeah. a full roll. Full roll. Yeah, I've seen those. You seen the uh, group heals? They're like three thousand. Yeah. Mm. Remember the first time I found out that they did that the old scratch, and I did a tower run with um with all privateers. For tower run, you should just use the Moomad Chew boots. Have one person use those, and everybody else just scratch buff flames. Yep. The problem is, is I don't know very many people with that. I have both, so. Oh dang. But no moo coat. Nothing. Alright, I think we finished. It doesn't look like we have any. No, no boss loot. No, I was kind of hoping for kind of. More There's another boss. More equipment. Um, no, I don't think so. I was hoping for more equipment in this update. More than anything else, because I wanted something good to farm for. I think that's pretty good overall. I mean, keep in mind, we rushed through it. Like, literally, I don't know anybody that can do this faster, unless they <laughs> use other things. No. Yeah, that was that was pretty incredible. That was, that was nice. What, it took me like an hour and a half to do this? Not bad. No, I don't think it even took that long. Oh, wait, more NPC? Alright, so, that was a dungeon, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you in probably another another video. So that's it for now, and uh, peace Fine. out. Oh All wait, um, more dialogue. Never mind. I guess we'll hit this piece of dialogue, and then we'll go out. Yep. You have done it. Sixty-eight boys. Let's go. Burden <laughs> Zane. <laughs> well done, Pirate. Gaspacho is free. You must get him away from Valencia and into hiding as soon as it... What? You will take him to... to the machine? I think it is a madness, but very well. Good luck to you, Pirate. You will need. Alright. Alright, now that is it. And uh, we'll probably see you in another video. We'll probably see you in this next me. dungeon if it lets us actually. Yeah, probably. So, um, see y'all laters, that's it, and peace out for now.